Yon world, what's the deal? It's your boy Original back with another video for y'all, man. Now, check this out. I was about to run a Sprizzy ad campaign and I got inspired to make this video just to show everybody out there that's interested in Sprizzy thinking about running an ad campaign with their video through Sprizzy. I just want to go over the three different types of campaigns you can run how to use them and show live examples within YouTube so you can know what to expect when you run this campaign. Go ahead, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Yon World. I'm dropping content like this every day of the year. So as you can see right here, I got my video uh, ready to be promoted. Uh, I'm just going through the steps and right here along the bottom, you'll see the three different type of Sprizzy ad campaigns you can run. now. For this video specifically, I'm going to run a YouTube search and I'm running a YouTube search campaign on this video because it's 11 minutes long, it's monetized and I want people to naturally click on it. I want people to naturally watch it for a longer amount of time and um, I don't want it to be shown as an ad. Now, it's different videos that you know can be shown as an ad and we're going to go into that but for longer videos, for videos that you have monetized, for videos that you want to rank for certain keywords. Now this video, I got how to use keywords on YouTube, rank higher in search. Uh, I just want it to be ranked up there when people are doing their keyword research on YouTube because I feel like I have a lot of valuable information in that video. So I'm gonna be running a YouTube search campaign. Now to see how this looks, and um, live in YouTube right here. So right at the top, you see this is a YouTube search campaign. You see the popular tags making people rich. And um, this channel, Start Starting Up, you know, that's the channel name, Start Starting Up. They run, they're running the ad and you see their video is also 10 minutes. Um, they have 30,000 subscribers. I'm pretty sure this video is also monetized. And that's the thing about using Sprizzy. When you run Google ads um, on your video, if you are blessed and your channel is already monetized, the ad money you put into that monetized video, you're gonna get back through AdSense. So that's something to you know keep in mind. If you're running ads on monetized videos, you will get AdSense dollars back. So I just wanna put that out there. Now, the next type of Sprizzy ad campaign you can run for your video is what's called a YouTube related video. Now, this is when the user is already engaged and you want them to watch your video next. So an example of this, let me show you. See right here on the right hand side and up next bar, this is a, a related, a search related video. Yeah, a YouTube related, excuse me, a YouTube related video, right? When you see in the up next bar, you know, if you just kept watching, you see my autoplay is uh, on. If I just left this running and it will play through the ads, it'll play the next video and the next video. And a lot of people, uh, you know, have this set up on their YouTube accounts and it just naturally plays videos after another one plays. So autoplay is where a YouTube related, you know, search or ad will be shown. Uh, next as a commercial now when you run a video as a commercial when you do an ad and you select as a commercial i recommend creating a video that is a minute long you know just create a, a purpose-based video that just tells what your intentions are why you want subscribers what you're offering what your channel is about you can have a you know you can make it more um what's the word i'm looking for um not intuitive but you can make it more innovative uh you can make a more innovative captivating commercial that draws your audience and that'll make them subscribe to you but i recommend doing a one minute commercial now an example of this um on this youtube page just loading a little slow but you can see this ad is actually 35 seconds so uh, this ad is about stock footage, which you can use to create. If you ever saw those compilation motivational type of videos, um, you can go on certain websites where they offer licensing 
and you can have access to a library of different footage and, um, you know, angles and different shots where you can compile together and you can make your own video. So that's what stock footage is. I know that's all off topic, but, um, you see this, this is a ad. This is a commercial ad that plays before the video. So it's just good to know the difference, um, in all of these ads because some people may not even pay attention to this and, and, um, they just go straight down here and, you know, oh, I want likes, I want comments, I want website views. But um, you have to be selective, you know, and um, make sure. Now, just to give you a recap, the YouTube search. I will use a YouTube search promotion through Sprizzy when I'm promoting a monetized video that's 10 minutes or longer or any video that I want to rank for certain keywords. That's when you want to use the YouTube search because I want to see if it'll pop up uh, fast. Sorry about this, y'all. My computer is going very slow. But um, it'll pop up in the top of the search results. So you can kind of see an example right here too. So it pops up in the top of the search results. And, you know, when they search the keyword, whenever they search the keywords that you still get it, now in target it pulls all of the keywords from your youtube video that's why i recommend using google keyword planner for every video um just to fully optimize your video use keywords in the title description and in the, um to fully monetize fully optimize the video but you know it'll automatically pull it from targeting but uh that those are the keywords it'll use when you run a youtube search campaign on your video now the next video a YouTube related. Now, this is when you want to increase watch time specifically on a video. When you want um, people that are engaged watchers, engaged viewers already, and you want to increase watch time on your video. This is also monetized videos. Uh, all of these um, categories are good for monetized videos. It's just good to know that. I don't think anybody uh, put emphasis on that, that the fact that if you run campaigns on monetized videos, you will receive money and I made video I made a video about this just showing how I ran a campaign on a on a very high CPM um the campaign you know it gave me over a thousand views it gave me 21 subscribers and it also gave me $23 so I thought it was you know I thought that was a good example of you know the benefits of promoting yourself you know and you you get so much value you know when you invest in yourself so that's the goal for me and my YouTube channel because I went through so many rebranding periods. I've done everything from strand reviews, Bitcoin to I've, I've done so many, so many things. Only music. I was only focused on music one time and I, I did so many different things on my YouTube channel. I'm, I'm just now finding, you know, what's easy for me, what's effortless. And it's just sharing information on how to make money online, passive income. I believe passive income is the key. To financial freedom because you no longer trade time for money you provide content and the customer you know trades their time and you know and you get money so it's it's a whole different ball game it's a whole it's it's way different um when it comes to you know it's not it's not about the money you make but how how are you making your money do you have to you know show up at somewhere early in the morning which you don't want to do or do you, can you just wake up and upload a video and um people engaging with it spending time on that it gets you money and gets you advertising revenue so you know i'm i'm real interested in the passive income and that's what i want to talk about and just share my entire journey like as i'm learning everything i'm gonna just make a video about it and i really think about the results and i really look at you know the numbers uh it just focus on the momentum and uh, building you know the content for y'all so uh did we go over the last one the commercial now i i told y'all the commercial when you run a commercial ad um you want to you want to make a one minute video that's what you want to do when you run a commercial ad you want to make a one minute video you don't want to do a 10 minute video some people can get mad at that and uh your watch time on that video would go low because when you run an ad, the watch time, everything is the same. Everything is the same. You're just paying for promotion. 
So the as it'll record the watch time, it'll pick up on AdSense dollars, if people like it, if people comment, all of that is the same. You know, it'll all of your engagement is tracked, it shows you when you use Sprizzy that, you know, all of your traffic is coming from YouTube advertising. So it's the same, it's just getting YouTube to promote you higher in the algorithm. So it's just knowing uh one more time, because I feel like I was rambling and talking. YouTube search, 10-minute videos when you want to rank for keywords, monetize videos. Uh, YouTube-related promotions is when you want to when you want to increase the watch time on the video. And, um, you know, it's also good for subscribers and everything like that. And monetize video. All the views are monetized as well. Now, commercial is when brand awareness. When you want to bring brand awareness, something innovative. Something uh, that could possibly get them not to watch the video and go to your page. That's what you want to do with that one. So, it's your boy, Yon World. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you comment. That's my video for today. I'm out. Peace.